You guys are gonna see some B-roll hopefully throughout this video. I've been receiving a lot of encouraging comments on the last video I posted, basically sharing the journey with you guys. And a lot of you have been alluding to the fact that I might just need to be letting my hair grow out a little bit longer and maybe then that spot will fill up. I do have pretty voluminous hair, um, so I thought. <laughs> What's good YouTube? TV likes to bring you guys another video today. Yes, I know it's been a while you guys, so let's get right into the video. Now y'all, if you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe button right now. If you have hit that like and subscribe button, definitely wanna make sure that notification bell to stay notified on all the posts the moment I post. Also like the new channel, TP Unlocked, for commentary and other randomness that I might come up with. All right, thank you for your support in advance. Now as y'all can see, cause we got no shame in my game, I am letting this stuff grow out. Right? Damn! I find it really ironic that I maintained locks for about five years with a relatively consistent regimen. But now I wake up, y'all, and I don't put nothing in my hair. Nothing but what my dermatologist prescribed, of course. These days when I'm walking around the house, I'm not wearing a bonnet, I'm not brushing my hair. For a little while, I was actually trying to do some waves and the waves were forming and everything was starting to you know, look a little swimmy. Um, but when you got ball patches in your scalp, with waves, it just doesn't blend really well. Usually this is what my hair looks like, unless I've washed it or I've done something to it, like combs it, detangled it, whatever. Let me put this hat back on so I can shoot confidently. <laughs> now as for the topic of this video, you guys, I'm coming up on my 90 day mark with minoxidil. At 90 days, I was really expecting to see a little bit more results. You guys are gonna see some B-roll hopefully throughout this video. I've been receiving a lot of encouraging comments on the last video I posted, basically sharing the journey with you guys. And a lot of you have been alluding to the fact that I might just need to be letting my hair grow out a little bit longer and maybe then that spot will fill up. I do have pretty voluminous hair, um, so I thought. So that might be the case and that's kind of hence the reason why I'm growing it out. Since that last video, I probably cut my hair at least two or three times. And for the same reasons, it's just very awkward walking around with somewhat thick hair and then having a bald spot right at the top, like right at the peak of your head where, you know, seemingly everybody can see. That's just been one of those things that sort of makes growing your hair less appealing because anytime I cut it low with a one guard, obviously you can't see the bald spot. It just seems like a much better way to transition into the fact that you're actually losing hair. If I were to go to a little function or one of my daughter's things, obviously I would cover up the spot because you know I'm not I'm not trying to look like patches but if I'm going to Target or Walmart or something like that boy I'd be out here with a visor on y'all can see the moon roof you know what I'm saying so in that regard there has been some improvements of that confidence as of right now I've got about 10 and a half minoxidil pills left this is my second refill of my prescription each refill has 45 pills so you can do that math the dosage is one half of a minoxidil pill every single day for the rest of my life <laughs> Before. Basically every morning I wake up to take a half one of these and call it a day. I've been getting expert medical advice from the best place you can get expert medical advice. If you guess Reddit, you are absolutely right. <laughs> Just gathering anecdotes from places like Reddit and WebMD. What I've identified with those sources is that a lot of people, it takes anywhere between you know, 90 days, some people it takes six months. It can really be an indefinite amount of time before you start to see results. Everything just says keep taking it, keep taking it, keep taking it. For those of you guys who don't know about the origins and the history of minoxidil, essentially what it was at origin was a blood pressure medication. So for me, you know, being 31 years old, I'll be 32 this year. For me being 31 years old and sort of having to be relegated to taking a drug for the rest of my life, one that will impact my blood pressure, it's a little problematic for me. And so a lot of my mentality coming into this thing was, look, if I can grow my hair back, cool. Right? If I find that this actually works, it's an amazing blessing. If I find that it doesn't work, it's an amazing blessing too. I'm okay to do the Boris Kojo, bald head, Steve Harvey, grown man type thing. I'm okay to do that, man. I got I can you know I can grow a beard now, I got a little bit of versatility, I'm I'm married, so I'm not I'm not really worried about my looks. I was just really hoping to see more substantial results because I really am hoping to start a lock journey in 2024. I have no idea when I'm gonna start. I was hoping 
hoping you know by the end of this year the top of next year i'll kind of have a better understanding of whether or not this is working and then from that moment i would start the real growth journey but you know as of right now bro it, it it ain't really seeming like it's working in addition to the minoxidil i'm also using the ketoconazole so that's like a shampoo that i use about once a week for the excess dandruff and buildup that sort of produces you guys have seen it hopefully my scalp gets really really bad so that ketoconazole really has been helping they say it's supposed to help with your hair growth but you know up to this point i haven't really seen much and then on certain days if i'm feeling a little fancy like if i want my hair to not be dry i'll go use my tea tree oil scalp conditioner the whole intention of that is to make sure that my scalp is stimulated i can stimulate some hair growth with a nice massage tea tree oil peppermint oil has been shown and proven to help with hair growth as well kind of a you know multifaceted approach to my hair growth journey, right? Which makes it even more discouraging why it's not working right now. So all that being said, y'all, I have not given up hope yet. It's not really looking good right now. We can be real about that. It's not really looking good. Minoxidil is not really looking like it's gonna be the thing that works. Implications of these drugs and all these things, I could 100% see myself, if this doesn't work, just opting out and going, you know what? Holistic for me, let me keep my hair low and be done with it. And if that's the case, trust me, you guys will know first. As of right now, is where we are. It's not looking the best, but I am gonna stay optimistic. Thank you to all those who are still supporting this channel with likes, comments, etc. Thanks again to everyone that has continued to support this channel, even through the inconsistent posting. It really means a lot to me, you guys, to know that you are still here when I'm posting these videos, leaving comments and showing support. It means a lot. I have another channel that I'm also trying to grow that's really in its infancy right now. So if you're interested in seeing that grow in the same way this channel has grown from the ground up, go on over there and like up some videos and subscribe over there too you know what i'm saying that's called tp unlock just a little pun on the word you know what i'm saying but again man i appreciate you guys so much hopefully you've enjoyed this video it's been tp locks Yo, out. tp locks fam what is going on you already know it's your boy backpack beats if you like the music on my homie tp's channel definitely come over to my channel i got more of these i'm making beats every week i'm also djing every week for the no more free beat show so definitely make sure you stay tuned in got a lot of stuff popping i appreciate everybody who's been coming from tp's channel as well i'm almost out of thousand subscribers so i really appreciate y'all for coming through showing love it's nothing but a community over here for real we got the dope vibes so definitely stay tuned to what we doing on tp's channel make sure you stay tuned to what i'm doing on my channel also and it's gonna be fire man dope beats dope music dope vibes appreciate y'all peace thank you you brushing my hair against the grain are you sure we need to do it against the grain are you sure can you brush it back Oh, no, no, no. Brush it forward. Yeah? Yeah. No. Yeah, that, I guess that can go down like that. Yeah, brush the beard. Yeah, there you go. Stay. Yeah, brush the beard. There you go.